Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today, I'm going to tell you guys about the martyr. That's right, the martyr. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, A long, long time ago, in the area of the earth we call Denmark today, there stood a village of people who had 12 men as their leaders. These 12 men judged all things within the village, and their judgments were final. Within this village, there were three classes of people. One class, the highest class, was the twelve judges and those which they kept close. The second class consisted of those who the first class used to control and oversee the lowest class. The second class had some perks and their lives were not totally miserable. The third and lowest class were no better than slaves. They did all of the work, received the least amount of reward for their toil, and they were beaten and mistreated in order to force them to accept their position. This third class was even forced to worship the twelve judges as gods. This was done to discourage revolt. One day, when the afternoon called to worship, a giant image of the twelve judges was called. One man in the village who grew tired of doing blasphemous acts before the true God stood in place and refused to go to the spot and fall down to worship. Those around him urged him to just worship the image and live, but the man's soul could no longer tempt God. The guards saw the man refusing to worship and they captured him and drug him before the twelve. When they asked him why he did not worship them and their images, the man boldly said because they were only men and not gods, and regardless of what all else might do, he would only worship the true God. Intent on making an example out of the man, the twelve held the trial in front of the entire village and let the people hear why he refused to worship them, and then they showed the people his faith. As everyone watched, they stripped the man down and began to beat his bare flesh. The tools of torture they used tore chunks from the man's flesh. To mock him, they placed a cap made of his own skin on his head. They gave the man chances to repent and worship the twelve, but no matter how bad it got, he refused to do it. Eventually, they tied a rope around the man's neck and drug him to a nearby bog. Then they tossed him in and watched him begin to sink. As he sunk, they held on to the rope. Soon, the man had gone under, but they still held the rope, hoping to cause some greater suffering through strangulation. Then, they released the rope and spit on his unnatural grave. After his death, the people, subjected to the third class, rose up, inspired by the martyr, and they defeated the second class and overthrew the first class. The people then tossed the twelve judges into the same bog in the same manner as they had tossed in the martyr, and they were never abused again. And so, the morning motivation of today is the martyr. Sometimes, you have to be prepared to take the attacks of the enemy on behalf of others who are in your same condition. No one likes to be the one to have to pave the way, because paving the way is harder than following it, and it is more dangerous as well. However, this is just the nature of life. We have it easy in some ways because of others, and likewise, some will have it easier because of us. The ultimate reward is not always for you, and that is okay. We still must continue to do that which is good. It is only by staying the course and being righteous will we become the best version of ourselves and achieve our wildest dreams. So, even in the face of danger, go out and do good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning.